tables. I'm just gonna pull some random tarot cards. Let's see what comes out for y'all tonight. Ooh, Three of Swords is in the reverse position off the back. Okay, okay, let's see what's up. Clarify this Three of Swords. Some of you may have started journaling. The higher font is in the reverse. Okay, so what I feel like here is that you may be recovering from something. I feel like you're healing. Okay. Yep. Nine of Swords in a reverse position. You're not so worried anymore over over commitment. It could be commitment to a process, um, commitment to something traditional, literally commitment like marriage, um, institutional, like a job or something. I feel like you could have been like really saddened or gr or grieving here over it, but now you're not so wary. It's like you're releasing the worry. Okay, why? Don't forget, you guys. Everyone is on a different timeline. Take what you need, leave what you don't need. Use the spirit of discernment, and never force the message to fit. Okay. Thank you. Ten of Swords comes out in the reverse. It's like now, whatever you've been through is becoming a thing of the past is what I just heard. Okay. You're realizing, okay, that's the past. You know, I, I need to shift my mindset. I need to shift my perspective. Like that's what's keeping me um, waiting. That's what's keeping me in the hangman position. I don't know if I showed y'all that, but I'm showing you again. All right. So I feel like you're in this state of accepting and moving forward. Okay. And in, in, in moving forward, meaning like you are shifting your perspective. And why is that? Two of Pentacles comes out. I feel like you're recognizing like, okay, all of this is because of a choice. If I shift my perspective, I can make my choice. I can make my decision. How can I see this in a different way? Like you could have literally been juggling some things here. Okay. Our ideas or again, choices. Or something else, right? Multiple jobs, resources, whatever, people. But at the end of the day, again, you know you had to make some type of self-honoring choice. Death card comes out. You put an end to a cycle. This is like death to the ego. <laughs> Where you could have been resistant not changing not i don't want to say not changing but it could it could have been like something deep down in your subconscious mind that kept you from walking away from making this choice it's like old pain old hurt you know old trauma and again like i said eight of cups comes out you get this I, i'm hearing you balance yourself that's what happened that's how you got the um intuitive download at some point, you found your center to make a self-honoring choice. Yep, the hangman comes out again. Or you should, if you haven't. I don't know where you at on the timeline. If you're still hanging in with the same old mindset, you might want to re reassess or reevaluate some things here in your situation so you can get moving. Tell me about the hangman. It's so hot, y'all. I got the window open. And it's not working. Whew. The Ten of Pentacles. So I'm in Baltimore and like right now, the temps got to be like 50s, 60s. <laughs> Been like this all day, kind of rainy, but warm. Thank you. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, reverse. So the thing is, is like when it comes down to your perspective, of how you see um, partnership, marriage, relationships, whatever that is, how you see family, that was the problem. It's, it's, a, it's a perspective change. So it's like now that you've done that, you can, you can see it's almost like this like clarity. Okay, now you're understanding why you think the way you think or why you feel like this aspect is so important, right? It's like you you digging into the trauma with that death card. You're going deep. 
you know, all it takes is to understand and realize like, oh, I got the key to unlock my chains. You know, this is this is something that's self-inflicted for real. But because of your perspective, that's what kept kept you stuck. And for some of you, kept you from committing or partnering with someone. Or for some of you feeling like you you were not important enough, okay? Or valued enough or loved enough to have this type of connection with someone, the Ten of Pentacles, a committed relationship long term. Again, thinking, perspective, perception. <laughs> it's like everything that causes you to really, really see things from different angles. Somebody's thinking about you. Tell me about the thoughts. Eight of Wands. Somebody could want to communicate something with you. And like I said, you may have went through some type of tower moment here um, that has brought in progress, actually, right? After an ending or it could have created some type of ending. Again, it could have been some type of ending that involved a breakup or it could have been just the ending of your own patterns or behaviors or mindsets, belief systems. All of this is coming in pretty fast, so... Yeah, I feel like this is something that, that happened very quickly. Involving an emperor. A emperor. Mm -hmm. Either divine masculine, fire sign energies, air sign energy. The magician comes out so you can see that. Again, it's still going back to realizing that you have to take back power and control over your life in order for you to be able to see um, these great things happening. It's like you may have realized, like, I'm not really missing out on a great opportunity. That's about shifting your perspective, right? I'm not missing out on a great opportunity. Because at the end of the day... I am the one who manifests or co-creates the opportunities. So once I, you know, begin to shift my perspective about how I see this and I can realize, I realize that, hey, I got everything I need at my fingertips. I got all my tools. I'm the alchemist of my life. And my idea of how relationships look or how they may have looked for me in the past, or partnerships, quote unquote, right? Does not determine my worthiness or my or what I can receive in my now, right? Or even in the future. Okay. Um, four swords comes out in the reverse position. Tell me about this thoughts. I feel like somebody you're connected to, they definitely want to reconcile. They want some type of resolution because they couldn't see the bigger picture. Or you couldn't. You know, four swords reverse and the king of wands reverse. Flip the roles how you see fit. They couldn't see the bigger picture. But like I said, for some odd reason, I'm feeling like somebody... Yeah, can see it now. The star card comes out. Somebody can see it now. You know, once you get centered and you start to really think and make these self-honoring choices for yourself, then guess what? Boom. You get the epiphany. But I feel like because things may have been out of sync in the past, you know how like when stuff is just out of balance and just crazy in your life in the past, that you use that as a basis for again, your now, every relationship you encounter, regardless if it's love or if it's work, right? Or friends. So somebody is really thinking a lot about this and may even want to communicate that with you. Woo! Empress and Five of Wands. Okay. 
So stay tuned for part two.